Well, we made it. We're on top of Gun Peak. If you don't believe me, look at all these landmarks around. <laughs> He's lying. Actually, Carl found a little poem right here. I'm not going to recite it. It's too long. It's a long poem. It's called something about the spring to Come mountain. spring to mountaineer. We read it. It's written in Old English by a guy named Greg Hovinder. I think he stole it from somewhere. From then... Sultan Washington. But he does reference Gun Peak in the poem. Well, I think you could fill you in anything with the likes of Stickney. Anyway, this is a pretty gnarly climb. We woke up at 9, or we got started at 9, I should say. It's, what is it, 11 or so? Let me look. It's 11.10. And uh, I will say, this climb is not for babies. <laughs> it's definitely... There were some sketchy moves. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, our route finding, I'm glad that Carl memorized the Becky guide and had a GPX track on his phone. Yeah, it's we couldn't see anything landmarks. I mean, there's no visibility, so we had to like hope and pray we're going the right way. Right, we're hoping and praying that this stuff burns off. Actually, this is the most sun we've seen so far. So, when Carl's uh, leaving a summit register right now. It's a Nalgene bottle stuffed with a pad of paper and a pen. Anything else you're going to put in that bottle? Uh, we should have. Nah, I'm not going to say it on the camera. <laughs> okay. That little present I left back at camp. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should leave some trail mix in there in case the next people get hungry. Well, I don't know. It might be a while before somebody climbs this no, thing. No, this summer there'll be a few people. Okay, maybe a few people. Well, if we know somebody else coming up later, we should leave them a note. Yeah, actually we should. We'll leave them a little note. Hope if, you if made they make it. it. <laughs> Ask them to bring it down to camp as proof. Yeah, that's what we should do. Yeah.